Hello everyone. So it is a really lovely day today and today is the day that I start my 2022 transformation and I'm so beyond excited because I'm so ready for 2022. I'm over 2021. I feel like I was excited for 2021 but honestly I'm not disappointed like I'm happy with this year but like I'm ready you know I'm just ready for the new year. I'm ready to become my best self. I never really have new year's resolution but I feel like this year's is to just work so hard put my all into youtube so i'm getting back on my game and i'm so motivated and i have so much planned for the new year i'm so beyond excited but anyways to start my journey into becoming a new person for the new year i'm going to get a facial i'm getting my abrasion, which i've had a few times i'm getting it at smart skin laser clinics i go there for laser and i actually had a laser appointment a couple weeks ago i'm getting my abrasion. i've already had one again a couple weeks ago and i actually think like my skin's improved it was really really bad like a week ago and I don't know in the past couple of days luckily it's cleared up so hopefully this just clears up my skin completely because I feel like microdermabrasion takes like at least a week to like show its results but yeah I have a lot of appointments booked <laughs> this is like the funnest time of the year like just before the new year so I can look like a bad bitch on the 1st of January by the way fun fact I was meant to be born on the 1st of the 1st of the 1st 1st of January 2001 I was born on the 6th of January 2001 so anyways I'm gonna go in now and yeah I'm super excited So I just finished my little appointment and as you can see like it makes my freaking freckles stand out to the max I think it's the light because I remember last time I got it FaceTime Adrian in the car and I'm like something's wrong with my skin like my freckles are crazy I think tomorrow they'll be back to normal but I kind of like them like this I, I was saying to a lady I don't understand people who don't like their freckles I think they're so cute but absolutely everywhere it's a bit intense but yes we're gonna go home now and I have another appointment tomorrow to get my freaking lips done and I'm so excited I got my lips done pretty recently but I really need the margin in charge for my birthday because that's straight off to New Year's So I am uh, I don't know I get the most excited for getting lips done It's the most painful but it's the most rewarding so yes I'll see you tomorrow to get my lips filled Hello, so it is the next day and I'm going to get my lips done with Stephanie from Radiance Inject and I'm so excited. This is like my favorite part of the whole transformation for the new year. We're gonna go in now and I'm nervous because I think I'm quite sensitive. And I haven't eaten, so worst case, I'm gonna faint, pass out, and cry. Worst case, none of that will happen. But anyways, I'm gonna go in there and hope for the best. It's gonna seem a little bit So I'm all done. Am I in as big as Adrian's now? You're getting there. I feel like maybe. There's only one little bruise, but she did an amazing job. She did exactly what I asked for. But I was speaking to Steph, and she said that when people come in, sometimes they ask, can I have what Leah gets? But the, the thing with lip filler, if you do go to Steph, it's important to know that she is going to do the best filler for you for your face. Like everyone needs something different. So yeah, obviously if you end up seeing her, she'll tell you, she'll know. Like she just knows, she's like spot on. What I love about Steph is that like, she's done my lips multiple times in small amounts. So like I have less risk of migration. She did a little bit more filler this time because I wanted more because I'm not going to be getting filler for quite a while but they look so good. Very, very happy. They're obviously swollen now. But yeah. <laughs> I got hiccup. But yeah, I don't know my next appointment. I think maybe getting my nails done. I need to get my face threaded before the New Year's. I need to get my toes done. So I'll see you whenever I get something else breaking down. Christmas is this weekend and then the week after that is New Year's. So we shall see. But yeah, love you. I'll see you soon. 
Hello, so it is the day before New Year's Eve and yeah, I don't have my nails done. I haven't had them done for a little bit, but today I'm going to see Vicky from S Nail Artistry. And she's been doing my nails literally since I was like 18, almost 19, like 18, 19 years old. And she's the best. Haven't found anyone better. Don't need to find anyone better. She's just the best. Anyways, she's gonna do my nails, but the nails I'm getting today are like my birthday nails. So I'm actually really excited, but I don't know what I'm getting. I have no clue. So I'm kind of nervous for that. And yeah, this morning I started a juice cleanse and I have so much to get done. I have to get my toes done and my face threaded. That's actually it apart from my nails. Yeah, I'll let you guys know how this juice cleanse goes, but I'm doing the juice cleanse not for the new year, for my birthday. And I've never done a juice cleanse before. The first juice was quite nice. I've only had one. This is my second one, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go in and get my freaking nails done. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in there. my toes done so these are my nails they are stunning she always does like literally such a good job and i went in there like not knowing what i was going to get done and i'm so beyond happy with the outcome they're like not too extra but they're still like really freaking cute because i always have to go a bit extra so anyways i also got my toes done and i was in there for like way longer than i wanted to be but apart from that she did a really good job and she was also really nice and cute the lady who did my toenail but yeah now i'm going to get my face threaded and i'm not excited as you can see my eyebrows are very overgrown i haven't gotten them done in quite a while after this i think i'm going to be done with my transformation apart from makeup but yeah, I'll see you in there. Okay guys, so Adrian's just useless. He <laughs> did not film me getting my eyebrows done, so I had to film him. That was the point of him coming with me, otherwise he would have came with me the whole day, but no, he came to film me getting my eyebrows done. But she did such a good job, like they look really good. And then I'm on a juice cleanse, so I can't eat. Adrian just went to Macca's and ordered what I ate. What I ordered from Macca's, how evil is that? It's not my fault that you're not eating. <laughs> now I have a headache because like he's causing me stress. Cause like all I can smell is this Macca's and I want it so bad. But yeah, I'm just do gonna- No, I do, I really do, but I can't- No! <laughs> I'll bite it, stop, stop. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is New Year's Eve. Hello everyone, so it is New Year's Eve and before I freaking start, I just want to say I am filming in literal hell right now. Now, you might be thinking, you're just in your room, like what's going on? Okay, number one, outside is 40 degrees or like 38, inside my house. Downstairs is fine, but upstairs- Oh my God, inside it's 34 degrees, upstairs. Anyways, I can't get the air con to work and I'm stressed. I don't know what to do, but I like either way, I'm gonna need to do my makeup. I'm not even going anywhere. But I need to do my makeup because I want to feel cute on New Year's Eve. And, but I want to feel cute because you have to like look cute going from one year to the next. Like you have go to go on a good vibe to like continue the vibe. As you guys know, I love the heat. So maybe this is like karma for just like, I love the heat, I love the heat, I love the heat. Like I say that in every video, like I love summer, but Right now, I'm stressing because I'm sweating. I also think I might have heat strike because today I went to the beach and I tanned. And a bit of a tan line. Um, and I got a bit burnt and I'm really freaking, I feel like I'm a bit dehydrated. Anyways, I am really happy with how this like glow up turned out. Um, I feel like even though I have like no makeup on right now, I feel really freaking cute, you guys. 
I feel I feel really freaking cute. So basically, I'm gonna like just go over everything I got done once more. But yeah, I got these nails obviously by Vicky. She is the literal best. I feel like I was very good at um like my vlogging experience, especially with my toes and my sweating because my toes like I kept on like filming and then she'd like, look up and I'd be like, oh, like how awkward is that to like film your toes as you're getting them done? And it's not as if like I know the girl at this place. Like maybe next time I'll do it because like she was really nice. And then my threading that was Adrian's fault. Anyway, Anyways, with the threading, she did a really freaking good job. She got rid of my sideburns. Sometimes I keep them, sometimes I don't. This time I was like, no, because I'm gonna look really freaking clean. And my lips, I'm like obsessed. I'm obsessed with them. Guys, I have a headache. I don't know what to do. I have a temperature check off. I'm gonna do the air just to like see. 36.5. The air is 36 degrees. <laughs> I'm 37.3. That's not bad. At least I don't have a fever. Oh, my chest is 38. What underarms? 37. 37. Oh, my cheeks are hot. My <laughs> cheeks are so hot. They're 38.1. Oh. Oh. Oh, my mouth is... My mouth is fine. Um, but yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The air's 36 degrees. I'm concerned. Anyways, I'm gonna get into my makeup. To be completely honest, I just wanna do like no makeup. Like maybe just mascara, but like- I don't know, it's so hot here, you guys. Like, I don't think I can put foundation on. All right, I think I'm gonna go for like a more natural look. I'm starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm wearing this dress either. It's this dress from Beginning Boutique. It's knitted woolen and it's kind of long. I think I'm going Lou because I'm like overheating. If I like have a heat stroke, like a literal stroke from the heat, that's not a thing. If I have a heat stroke on camera, that'll be good content. Everyone was so nice to me when I was like getting my treatments and they just make me feel so good. Like they make me feel like I don't need it even though it makes me feel like so much better when I have the treatment. The eyebrow lady was like, you have the most beautiful eyebrows I've ever done. Like there was only one other girl that came in today and she had really beautiful eyebrows like you. Nice thick eyebrows can be a curse because I look back at like child's photos and I have a freaking monobrow. I don't know why my parents didn't decide to get rid of that. Like monobrows aren't that bad. Like I feel like these days they can be a fashion statement but they're just not for me. Honestly, I feel like I've always been pretty good with my eyebrows. I did have a stage where I first learned how to pluck them when I was like 12 and I plucked them too far apart. And I feel like with age, my eyebrows have got a more square shaped. They used to be like rounded. I don't know, but you guys, I need to get my face threaded like once a week. I don't do that. I do it like once every three weeks, but like my face hair like grows so fast. I get like a literal mustache in three days after I've threaded my face. Okay, now I'm going to brush my eyebrows. Okay, I'm covering up my brows and let's talk about some New Year's resolution that I want to do, have, follow. So basically, I have never followed a New Year's resolution because I look at them as too difficult and I'm, I'm very like strict with myself. Like if I say I'm gonna do something, like I have to do it. But like the thought of like not eating chocolate for a year sounds like just torture. Like I started a juice cleanse. Today's my second day and like it has been so hard for me to refuse food. I'm so determined to like finish it. I was gonna do it for six days, but I've changed it to three because like I just can't like I need food and honestly I just wanted to do the glue the glue trend the juice cleanse to literally like cleanse my system out I felt like I had been eating such bad food for so long also my skin was really bad and I feel like I don't know what it is I think it's like the summer the salt water along with like all the good nutrients I'm getting in the juices my skin has cleared up as well as the facials so so yeah it's definitely important to like be healthy Obviously, but I don't know you guys a year's a very long time. I love my Maccas So I don't think I'm gonna do any food based <laughs> new year's resolutions I just think my main goal for next year is to work really hard I feel Like also this year was a bit difficult for me because we were in lockdown for like an extended period of time And I, I was just over it Like I got into like a really lazy lifestyle like really unmotivated because it's just like this isn't gonna end Like why am I even trying which is really stupid, but I feel like I don't know I just have such a good feeling about this upcoming year like in my bones like I have a really good feeling especially for me career wise and i'm trying to put this out into the universe honestly if i work hard even if i don't really get far like i'll be happy because i know that i put in effort and i enjoy my work and i love my work it's not really work to me it's just something that i love doing i do have some massive massive plans for next year i don't want to say anything though because i don't want to jinx it but like i'm really excited hey, pudlow's coming upstairs she said she was 12. who are you waiting for my friends listen we know you're here to see an 11 year old girl she said she was 12. Also, I don't know why I put so much concealer because I really want to do like a natural look. So that was 
stupid. I'm gonna try and blend this all down. Yeah, that's what I love about YouTube. Like, like I love like looking back and like seeing my old videos and like think about what was going on in my life at that time. I feel like that's like a really nice personal aspect of like doing YouTube. It's like looking back at old photos on your camera roll, but it's like videos that people watch. I don't know. Hey Pablo, pushing open my door. Come on. Oh, he accidentally closed it on his Hi. Just sniffing around. Panting because it's boiling. The poor dogs. Like, I don't know. Why did you come upstairs? It's it's cool downstairs. And literally, if I tell Pablo to go outside, he'll like stay at my door and like cry to come in. He's a very stubborn dog. So I'm sorry if you can hear him panting. Oh. Okay, guys, I don't know what to do with my skin because I feel like I'm pretty happy with it. And, like, to be completely honest, I don't really want to wear any makeup. I'm just going to conceal here. My cheeks are so rosy red, literally because I'm boiling hot. How many times in this video can I mention that I'm sweating to the gods? Okay, since I'm sweating, <laughs> to make me look less shiny, there's powder on my face. Okay, now I'm gonna really bronze up my face because I don't know why, but when I tan my body, my face just like does not tan at all. So like, no matter how dark my body gets, I always have to fake tan my face. Okay, I'm gonna blush. And I can't believe I'm turning 21. Who allowed that? The other day I was 18. I just put so much blush on. I'm gonna blend all this onto my eyelids. Oh, that looks horrific. All right, I'm going to contour my nasal cavity. You are just making yourself known. Right now, you guys, I'm gonna dot over my freckles to make them appear more dark. You okay? Let's check Pablo's temperature. <gasps> He's 36.2, you guys. Official temperature of Pablo. Let's check me again. 37.2. Okay, so I'm one degrees up from him. I'm just patting that all in, blending it out. I don't know why I do random accents. It's really something that has developed over time, and it's a big. Odd. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face now. I don't know what to do for me eyes. I might just do like some peachy pink shades from the Scott Barnes blush palette. And with this one. All right, I'm gonna highlight first before I do anything else. So I'm for my nose. I'm gonna highlight my inner eye corner. It's always important to like bring the inner eye highlighter like, down to like mid lower lash line. I don't know, I feel like that really makes your eyes pop. I'm gonna curl my lashes before I do a wing. I found that that makes it easier lately. All right, and now that I've curled my lashes, I'm going to do a little... Mm. Okay, there's one wing done. Happy with that. I think this has run out. Oh no. How oh, Timo! Okay, I what to do. They're very different, but I don't care. Why did I say it like that? I'm gonna do a little inner eye cut wing. I don't know how it's gonna work since my pen's empty. Look at all that. <sighs> I'm sweating. Pablo, I think you should leave. He's like asleep. Don't worry, he's alive. I can see him breathing. Time for muscuro. I lather up these lashes. Eyelash is just like so stupidly long. Get away. You know what would be cool if you could actually know that was a dumb idea. I was gonna say if you could see like notifications on the back of your phone, but that's really stupid because you don't want other people looking at your notifications. I feel like a lot of like new inventions have been coming out and I'm excited. I'm also scared. Also, I find it weird that no one's been to Mars yet unless they haven't, I'm stupid. Like, come on, like it's 2022. I want to go to Mars. I don't know if I would actually go to Mars. Like I say a lot of things and I don't know if I'd actually do it. Actually, I don't know if that's the truth because I would never say I want to jump out of a plane like for the fun of it because I wouldn't like I would never do that but I want to go to space like I would genuinely consider going to space but then also like I feel like I'd chicken out because I'd be scared like that's the same kind of thing with Mars what am I saying? okay you guys so before I freaking move on I'm gonna bake I haven't done this in years I don't know why I'm doing it I just decided that maybe it would be a good idea right now what? <laughs> oh oh what am I thinking? I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. I just thought it would be good to like stop my freaking shininess. Now I'm going to line my lips, overline. I haven't really done my lipstick since I've got my lips done. I'm starting off with the KKW cream liquid lipstick in the shade Kiki. I've never used this. Um, That's probably why it's very intense. I'm gonna add some of this shade, which is in the shade Kimmy. Kimmy. I'm gonna blend this with an empty one in the shade Kimberly, but it's empty, so. I don't think it counts. Okay, I'm gonna pat the rest of this powder into my face. 
Okay, I'm gonna highlight my cheeky winky dinkies. All right, I'm gonna spray my face once more. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I just looked at my face compared to my body. Pale as a ghost on my face. Even though, like, on camera, it probably doesn't look pale as a ghost. It's pale as a ghost. So I'm gonna stand back here and look at myself from afar. In that mirror. I'm trying to get a good face to neck ratio. And then hopefully when I come up close, it doesn't look as ridiculous. Okay, you guys. Apart from this on my hands, I feel like this is the look. Done. 20. 20. Two. Oh, but yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. This is the makeup. I kind of just wanted to do something a bit more peachy, natural vibey. Also because it is freaking almost 40 degrees. But I am very happy and very excited to go into the new year. I feel like I've glown up. Another freaking level. I'm feeling my hot freaking sexy self. I'm so excited for my birthday. 21 baby you guys know i'm gonna go freaking insane yes this is the bronze glowy look and thank you so 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 much to everyone that helped me glow up including radiance inject sasnail artistry the place where i got my toenails done the place where i got my face threaded smart skin laser clinics where i got my facial and of course the beach where i got my tan um but yeah you guys i'm so excited and i hope that you all have a very safe and exciting new year's and by the time this is up it'll already be like new year but anyways happy freaking new year i'm so excited and i love you guys so much enjoy celebrate live laugh love okay that's enough all right i love you guys so much <laughs> bye